morning before filming this video, I decided to have a look and see if there had been any update before I talk about this. Um, and as far as I can tell, there hasn't been anything since Jake's initial statement, from books and uh, some like universal themes and things that it wouldn't be uncommon to show up in several different art books, especially if you're doing something as niche as a book specifically about inking, if there was a book that was specific. Hey guys, welcome back, and finally I had the time to continue editing this video, and it took me a month to go back and, you know, have that energy to finish this because I've been spending most of my time with commissions, and lately I've been getting a lot, thank you so much guys. But the downside of this whole commission thing is I wouldn't have enough enough time to work on personal stuff like things I really like to draw the most. My creativity is gone and I have no cool stuff to draw because all of my energy is just nowhere to be found. That's when the art plug happens. Now, if you don't know what an art plug is, art plug is that feeling of not being able to draw anything because none of your drawings are turning out how you want them to turn out. Everything will just look ugly. Now, you'll experience, experience this if one, you're drawing a lot, like a lot, non-stop or you've been doing the same thing over and over again. I love working on commissions, but I do wish I had extra time to be able to create something different. And lately I've been looking at landscape paintings and I would like to try that. Now, maybe you're wondering why, why can't I just stop accepting commissions or accept few commissions so I will have the time to work on personal things that I really want to draw. Well, first of all, this is like my job. And if I stop accepting commissions, then I wouldn't be able to support myself and to help around the house and pay for my dog's uh, vet bills. And I'm really, really grateful for all of the support. I just need to work on my schedule to be able to focus on what I love. I really want to explore new things and I want to create something interesting and hopefully be able to sell art prints and original paintings. Those are just some of the things that have been running in my head lately and it will be amazing to be able to experience that. So I'm going to try and explore different subjects just to break this cycle of burnouts. Expect more illustrations with some landscapes, pets, food illustration, something I don't usually do. And I love illustrations with a sad vibe to them or illustrations that gives off a feeling of longing. Before I had a thousand likers on my Facebook page, I used to draw somehow disturbing subjects. If you've been here for a long time, you'd know what I'm talking about. If you scroll through my page, I think you'd find some in there. I think I have this drawing posted of a two-headed human-like creature. Yeah, if you want to check it out, just scroll through my Facebook. I think I'll put the link somewhere here or in the description. You'll also see some old works which are 
very cringy in my opinion so yeah thank you for listening to me talk about random art thoughts and if you guys want to check how my desk looks or what i got from shopee then just keep on watching Thank you.